Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful game for you played by the world's first women's chess champion Vera Menchik. Her opponent is Sonia Graf Stevenson and the game was played in 1937. Let's see how the game went on. Vera Menchik started with c4, e6 by black, knight c3, d5, d4, knight f6, knight f3, knight d7, e3, c6, bishop d3 and bishop e7. The most popular moves in this position are d takes c4 or bishop d6. But as I have already mentioned, we see bishop e7 in the game, which is the Bogolubov variation of semi-slav defense. Let's go on. We see castling by both sides, e4, d takes e4, knight takes e4, knight takes e4, bishop takes e4, knight f6, bishop retreats back, c5, d takes c5, queen a5, bishop e3, bishop takes c5, bishop d2, queen c7, bishop c3, bringing the bishop to the long diagonal and eyeing on black king, bishop e7, protecting the knight, queen e2, b6, opening up a space for the bishop to develop, knight g5, and g6, not a good move by black, which weakens the dark squares. A better move instead of g6 was bishop a6. If b3, then bishop b7. And now if you try a move like bishop takes f6, then black can simply capture on f6, and right now the rook on a1 is hanging. Well, bishop takes h7 check is not so good, because simply king h8, Black has a slight advantage in this position even. Well, by the way, queen h5 is not winning because black can simply capture on g5 and if you give this discover check then black has this defensive move bishop h6. But let's go back. Instead of that, after knight g5, instead of that bishop a6 move, we see g6, which gives white great attacking chances. Queen f3, bishop b7, queen h3, now the threat is capturing on f6 and checkmating on h7, h5 by black, and rook a d1. A better move is rook f e1. If rook e8, here comes a very beautiful line, starting with bishop sacrifice on g6. If f takes g6, then queen d3, eyeing on this weakened g6 pawn. If bishop c5, then rook takes e6, rook takes e6, and this is just a winning position for white. Queen takes g7, king takes, knight takes e6, forking the king and the rook, and this is winning. But let's go back. After h5, we see rook a d1, and this move allows black to equalize the game by playing queen takes c4, though we didn't see this move in the game. If rook d4, then simply queen b5. And this is equal. But after rook a d1, black made a horrible mistake and played knight g4. In this position, Vera Menchik made a move and black resigned. Can you find her next move? Ready? Just an astonishing. Rook d7 and black resigned. What a move. Well, if you play a move like queen c6, you are losing your bishop on e7. But what will happen if you capture on d7? Can you find white's next move? Here comes an amazing queen sacrifice on h5. If g takes h5, then this is bishop h7 and this is a checkmate. An amazing game by Vera Menchik. Your comments and questions, please. And thanks for watching. Good luck.